During World War II, the Nazi regime implemented a systematic plan to eradicate entire groups of people they deemed undesirable. This plan resulted in the deaths of over 6 million Jews in concentration camps, where they were subjected to unimaginable horrors like medical experiments, hard labor, torture, and gas chambers. The Nazis also targeted other groups, including Romani people, homosexuals, disabled individuals, and political dissidents, resulting in the deaths of millions more. The sheer scale and brutality of the Holocaust serves as a chilling reminder of the consequences of hatred, prejudice, and unchecked power. We must never forget the atrocities committed during this dark chapter of human history and work tirelessly to ensure that they are never repeated. One of the most chilling and heinous aspects of the Nazi concentration camps during World War II was the cruel medical experiments inflicted upon prisoners. These experiments were carried out by Nazi doctors and researchers, often without the consent of the victims and with no regard for their suffering or humanity. Prisoners were subjected to a range of horrific procedures, including sterilization, amputations, and exposure to diseases like tuberculosis and malaria. Some were even intentionally infected with deadly viruses like hepatitis and typhus to observe their reactions and progression of illness. These experiments were often conducted in secret and without any ethical oversight or scientific validity. The prisoners were seen as nothing more than disposable test subjects, and their pain and suffering were completely ignored. The long-term physical and psychological effects of these experiments on the survivors were devastating. Many experienced chronic pain, disability, and trauma for the rest of their lives. The cruel medical experiments carried out in the concentration camp stand as a stark reminder of the depths of human depravity and the need for ethical guidelines and oversight in scientific research. We must never forget the atrocities committed during the Holocaust and work to ensure that such horrors are never repeated. The grueling conditions endured by prisoners in Nazi concentration camps during World War II were designed to break their spirits and crush their will to live. Many were forced into hard labor for long hours, with little food or water and inadequate shelter or clothing. The prisoners were often subjected to brutal treatment and abuse by the guards, who saw them as nothing more than expendable laborers. The physical toll of the work and the lack of basic necessities like food and water often led to illness and death, with bodies piling up in the camps. The sheer horror of the conditions faced by the prisoners serves as a stark reminder of the evil that can be unleashed when unchecked power and cruelty are allowed to thrive. It is a dark reminder of the importance of human rights and dignity, and the need to stand up against oppression and tyranny. As a way to dehumanize and control prisoners, many inmates in Nazi concentration camps were stripped of their identities and given numbered tattoos on their arms. These tattoos served as a way to identify and keep track of the prisoners, as well as to strip them of their individuality and dignity. The tattoos were often inflicted with crude, painful methods and were seen as a mark of shame and subjugation. The practice of tattooing prisoners was just one of many ways the Nazi regime sought to exert total control over the lives and bodies of those deemed undesirable. The use of these numbered tattoos as a means of stripping prisoners of their humanity is a chilling reminder of the atrocities committed during the Holocaust and the need for vigilance in defending human dignity and rights. The Nazi concentration camps were a place of unspeakable horror, where prisoners were subjected to brutal violence and torture at the hands of their captors. Some prisoners were forced to participate in public executions, where they were made to witness the violent deaths of their fellow inmates. Others were subjected to horrific forms of torture, including beatings, electric shock, and even being hung by their arms for extended periods. The use of violence as a means of control and punishment was pervasive in the concentration camps, and prisoners lived in constant fear for their lives. The cruelty and disregard for human life exhibited by the Nazi guards stands as a chilling reminder of the atrocities committed during the Holocaust and the need to never forget the lessons of this dark chapter in human history. It is a sobering reminder of the importance of human rights and the need to stand up against those who seek to subjugate and harm others. One of the many horrors inflicted upon prisoners in Nazi concentration camps during World War II was the use of dogs as a means of control and punishment. Nazi guards often used vicious attack dogs to intimidate and harm prisoners, 
inflicting horrific wounds and even killing them in some cases. The dogs were trained to be aggressive and obedient to their handlers, who would unleash them on prisoners as a means of punishment or simply for the amusement of the guards. The use of dogs to terrorize prisoners was a deliberate tactic designed to strip them of their humanity and break their will to resist. The sound of barking dogs became a constant source of terror for those imprisoned in the camps, and the wounds inflicted by these animals were often horrific and sometimes fatal. The use of dogs to attack and kill prisoners stands as a chilling reminder of the depths of human cruelty and the need for vigilance in defending human rights and dignity. The legacy of this barbaric practice serves as a stark warning of the dangers of unchecked power and the importance of standing up against oppression and violence. It is a dark reminder of the atrocities committed during the Holocaust and the need to never forget the lessons of this dark chapter in human history. In the Nazi concentration camps, prisoners were subjected to inhumane living conditions that were designed to break their spirits and destroy their bodies. Overcrowded and unsanitary living quarters were the norm, with many prisoners forced to live in cramped, filthy barracks without access to adequate sanitation or medical care. These conditions created a breeding ground for disease, with outbreaks of typhus and dysentery spreading rapidly among the prisoners. With weakened immune systems due to malnutrition and abuse, many prisoners succumbed to these illnesses, leading to countless deaths in the camps. The lack of basic necessities like clean water and adequate medical care was deliberate, designed to further degrade the physical and mental health of the prisoners. The spread of disease and the suffering it caused were just another way for the Nazi regime to exert control and dominance over those deemed undesirable. The legacy of these unspeakable living conditions serves as a chilling reminder of the depths of human cruelty and the importance of defending human dignity and rights. It is a stark warning of the dangers of unchecked power and the need for vigilance in standing up against oppression and tyranny.